which is just that most games, you know, games, um, they're hard to develop, right? And they take a really, a great deal of effort. And um, the weird thing about that is that we are generally not very efficient about the thing that we're making. So, so let me start with a AAA example, and then I'll, I'll come back, right? So, so you have some AAA shooter game, you know, like Call of Duty or something, right? Mm -hmm. Single player campaign, and the vast majority of the budget of that game is modeling and texturing of all these unique locations as you make your way through the campaign in whatever city you're, you're going through or whatever, right? And all that stuff, like a, a modeler spent probably weeks on this building that you run through in five minutes and you don't even really look at, right? And so at, at some point it occurred to me that that happens with design as well, mm -hmm. right? It was, it was part of that trying to get to cleanliness and minimalism. Like games are not very good at using the design elements that they have. Like you can usually get a lot more juice out of the very few things that are in a, in a game. And if you start adding more things and you haven't really done everything with what you already have, it loses focus and it, it becomes it becomes a mess. It's like, let's look at all the elements that are at play and let's really make sure we are using all of them. Um, and again, that's not really a new idea in puzzle game creation either. It's just that even when people think they're doing it, they appear to not mm. be that successful often. Yeah.